Hunter Biden has been indicted on nine tax charges in California. The new charges are in addition to federal firearms charges in Delaware. He had been previously expected to plead guilty to misdemeanor tax charges as part of a plea deal with prosecutors who said he failed to pay taxes on $4 million in personal income back in 2017 and in 2018. The Fizz attorneys have signaled they plan to fight any new charges. A Texas judge has granted permission for a woman from Dallas to get an abortion despite the state ban. The 31-year-old mother of two was told by her doctors her fetus will die in the womb, and if it does, that will affect her ability to become pregnant again later on. State District Judge Maya Geta Gamble granted a temporary restraining order against Texas state law, allowing her to get the procedure done. The Attorney General's office said before the decision that the woman did not qualify for a medical exemption. DPS has cleared its own border personnel of wrongdoing, according to the Texas Tribune. The DPS Office of Inspector General launched an internal investigation over the summer based on the claims about the treatment of migrants. Those claims reportedly include being told to push people back into the water and finding several people hurt in the razor wire along the Rio Grande. The DPS internal report has disputed those claims. Las Vegas police have identified two of the three victims killed in the shooting at UNLV Wednesday. 64-year-old Professor Jerry Chang and 39-year-old Assistant Professor Patricia Velez. A third victim has been identified, but the name has not been released. Four others were wounded in the shooting. Three of them have been released after treatment, and one patient remains hospitalized in critical but stable condition. The Jewish community is on high alert as the FBI warns of a higher threat level due to the war between Israel and Hamas raging in the Middle East. This also comes after recent controversy at Harvard, MIT, and the University of Pennsylvania, where the school's presidents are being accused of not condemning anti-Semitism. All three presidents have released statements calling genocide vile and evil. A congressional committee has now launched an investigation into the policies and procedures at all three schools. November's job report is expected to drop today, likely to show a bump of about 180,000 jobs across the country. Experts say at least some of the increases are due to auto workers and actors ending their strikes. The report is also expected to show wages up and unemployment holding steady. UPS and the Teamsters may be headed for a fight. The union says nearly three dozen newly organized workers at a delivery hub in Louisville were let go. The Teamsters say they are filing a complaint and could strike. UPS says the layoffs had nothing to do with the workers' union membership. Users of Google Podcasts have just a few months to find an alternative. Google is phasing out podcasts by April. The company is urging users to transfer pod subscriptions to YouTube Music and is offering an export feature to help with that move. Back here at home, Santa is taking some quick time off from his workshop to come visit the Alamo City. Right now on KSET.com, we have put together a list of some of the locations in and around San Antonio where you can see him. You can see a few of those locations on your screen right now, but for information on dates and reservations, just look for this article on our website at KSET.com. And that's today's 9 at 9. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.